Good day, and welcome to Hiroshima University's English Podcast. Hi, everyone. I'm Joe. And I'm Kay. Kay, I have a question. Do you like murder, detective, police stories? I think everyone likes detective mysteries because they are exciting. Right, exciting. Who's the bad guy? Can the police catch him or her? People like excitement. Detective mysteries are fun. And today at Hiroshima University's English Podcast, we have a cool detective story for our listeners. Yes. Joe, why is this detective adventure story good? Well, it's good because it involves several interesting short adventures. Okay, it's interesting. And it has some humor in it. A comedy, everyone likes that. And finally, the stories are easy to understand. Good. So we probably do not need to look at the script mu so much, right? Right. And we'll finish all the adventures in this one podcast. So, listeners do not need to wait until next month for the conclusion or anything like that. Sounds good. Hey, Joe, who wrote this story? Our drama this month was written by a student here at Hiroshima University named Kai Nomura. I think he has good creativity and humor. Great, thanks, Kai. Yes, Kai is also the male voice in the drama, so he puts his heart into it. Very good. But before we get into our drama, I have a question for you, Joe, and for our listeners. Who are some of the most famous fictional detectives ever? Good question. Who are some of the most famous fictional detectives ever? Everyone out there, can you guess one or two of them? We will give you about five seconds. Can you say a couple? Okay, everyone, time's up. Do you have your answers? Okay, can you guess a couple of the most famous fictional detectives ever? Okay, I'll say Sherlock Holmes. Okay, you are correct. Yay! Sherlock Holmes is probably the most famous fictional detective in history. The story, of course, comes from England. It was written in 1887. And、um, so that's the middle of the Meiji period? Yes. And Sherlock Holmes was written by a 27 year old British man named Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Oh,、um, did you say Sir Arthur Conan Doyle? Yes. His middle name was that Conan. Wow! I hear. That the Japanese anime character Conan was named after the original writer of Sherlock Holmes. Cool! Anyway, Sherlock Holmes was a private detective. He worked for a lot of clients. That means the customers of detectives. For example, Scotland Yard was one client. Scotland Yard? That's the famous police force of London. He helped them. Yes. And Sherlock Holmes was famous for his observational ability. That means he could notice details. And Sherlock Holmes was famous for his logical reasoning. That means he could think well and come to conclusions to solve the crimes. Yes. Observational ability and logical reasoning. Everyone, can you say those good expressions in a loud voice? Observational ability and logical reasoning. <laughs> um, <laughs> Joe, I really like the BBC Sherlock Holmes drama that was made a few years ago.、Um, especially the actor in it was really, really cool. <laughs> uh, actually, more movies have been made about Sherlock Holmes、uh -huh. than any other fictional person in wow, history.、Uh -huh. It's true. I hear there have been 226 movies about Sherlock Holmes. Wow, 226 movies featuring Sherlock Holmes. 
So, Joe, um, who is the second most famous fictional detective in history? Okay, I will say it is Columbo. Okay, Columbo. I've heard of that program. Yes, especially all of your fathers and grandfathers out there <laughs> probably know about the famous American crime drama TV program. It was on Japanese TV a lot about 20 or 30 years ago. Why was Colombo interesting? It was interesting because in the beginning of each story, we knew who the bad guy was. Uh huh. But could Colombo catch the bad guy? The bad guy was always really, really smart. Uh oh. But Colombo was even smarter. And the program was funny. Because Columbo was not an elegant gentleman、huh. like Sherlock Holmes.、Uh -huh. Columbo wore dirty clothes. He smoked cigars.、Huh. He had a bad old car.、Uh -huh. He had a fat dog in his car. <laughs> and he acted stupid. <laughs> That sounds funny. He pretended to be stupid. Yes. But in the end, he could get so much evidence. Evidence in Japanese is shoko. Yes, he could find so much evidence that the bad guy always confessed in the end. Hakujo shita, he confessed. So, we have Sherlock Holmes, Columbo, and K. a y Do you know who our third famous fictional detective is around the world? Okay, I will say it is Conan. And you are correct、Yay! again. <laughs> Everyone, as you know, Conan has been around for about 25 years.、Mm -hmm. And it's written by Gosho Aoyama, who is still alive today. Oh,、um, I hear he's from Tottori, which is near Hiroshima. Right. So if you go to Tottori, there is the Gosho Aoyama. Manga Factory,、huh. which explains everything about Conan. Sounds interesting. Actually, all of our listeners can read Conan in English too.、Mm -hmm. The English manga series is called Case Closed. Wow. A lot of people in other countries like Conan and Case Closed because Shinichi Kudo, called Jimmy Kudo in English, Solves mysteries by impersonating other people. What? Is he Jimmy in English? Wow! <laughs>、um, anyway,、um, impersonating means he impersonates other people.、Um, for example, his best friend's father. His interesting characters make Conan a fun thing to read. Right. I hear that Conan is the fifth. Best selling manga series of all time. Wow, number five of all time. I wonder what the top four are. Let's leave that up to our listeners to find out. So, okay, let's get to our drama today called Detective Adventures. Everyone, This is such an easy story that we are just going to teach you three key expressions which are associated with police detective dramas. Yes, with these few words, you can probably understand everything. The first expression is that our detective is good at deducting things. In Japanese, that's like, Hikizan no hasso ga jozu ってことですね Deducting. He looks at evidence. Uses logical reasoning and comes to a conclusion. And our second key police detective vocabulary expression, which you hear a lot in dramas and movies, is a case. That's easy.、Um, in Japanese, jiken. Right. And in our story today, they work on a missing person case. Okay, you can imagine what that is. Somebody is missing. Yes. And our final key word is close lipped. Everyone, you can imagine what that is, right? Someone's lips, kuchibiru, are closed. That means someone does not talk much. He or she is close lipped. 
So to summarize, the detective is good at deducting things. He or she works on a missing person's case, and someone is close-lipped. Wow! With these three expressions, we can probably understand everything in our story today. And with that, let's listen to Hiroshima University English podcast drama called Detective Adventures. Good morning, detective. My name is Shirley, and I'll be your new assistant. Um, Shirley, I'm sorry to tell you, but you'll have to give up smoking if you want to work with me. Oh, how did you know I smoke? Hmm, I guess you're trying to be like Sherlock Holmes, deducting the possible realities of people by just observing them and smelling them. Oops, I should have gargled after that cigarette. Okay. Guess what I had for lunch then? Well, the ends of your sleeves are a little bit folded, and you have ketchup stains on your sleeves as well. I'll guess you had a McDonald's burger and fries. The ketchup that comes with the fries explains the red stain. Oh yes, you are right, detective. You even have a knife in your left hand. Do you have a collection of knives? Whoa! I do have my own collection. Haha! <laughs> I'm really the greatest detective, hey? And the easiest one to kill. No! No! Don't shoot me! Good morning, detective. All right. At last, I caught her. Ah, that was a close call. You saved me. Sorry for the trouble, detective. I was trying to catch the serial killer who kills a lot of detectives. I sure am relieved that I got here before she was able to kill you. Oh, do you mean she just killed some other detective? Yes. And you were her next target. So, the red stain on the sleeves. Yes, it was actually blood. Well, thank God you came. Um, who are you anyway? Sorry for being late. I'm Shirley, the real Shirley, and I'll be your new assistant. Oh, a good Shirley. Great. Detective, we just received a new case. Okay, tell me about it. It's about a missing person. A missing person? Interesting. This'll be my first time working on a missing person case. Okay, according to the report, the missing man is about six feet tall. So, we're looking for a guy who's about the same height as me. Yeah, he was last seen six months ago in his own house. Hmm, that means he must have at least contacted his own family, right? I guess so. The sender was close-lipped about the missing person's personal details, so I don't have much information. I'll have to try to reach the contact person. And ask for more personal details. So, do we accept this case? Of course, we'll accept the case. I'll use my great detective skills to find that person as soon as possible. Great! Right away, I'll send an email to the person who sent him this case. Okay. Ask for the missing person's name, and we'll need a picture as well. Okay. There. Email sent. Oh, wow! A reply came back already. That took only ten minutes. Okay, we need to know the name first. For the name, oh, detective, the missing person has the same name as you. What? 
Hmm, that's really interesting. Can we look at the picture? Oh, it looks like me. Detective, it is literally you. How many days have you been away from home? Um, just for six months. Oh, detective, the sender must be your wife. Good morning, detective. Hi, Shirley. What's up today? Okay, today we're going to investigate a crime scene. Oh, I'm so excited. But you're a detective. You do this all the time, right? This is actually my first time going to a crime scene. What? But you're a detective. Why? I never worked on a case, not until I got you as my assistant. Wow, but you do know how to work like a detective, right? Um, I think so. The proof is that I've watched a lot of Detective Conan anime, so I'm fine. You've watched a lot of Conan? Um, okay. Anyway, let's go to the crime scene. Well, finally, we're at the crime scene. Oh, there's the body. I see. Let me examine it for a while. Hmm, I think the person's been dead for less than 24 hours. Hmm, the floor and the body are wet. What might be the reason? Um, detective, I think... Shh, I'm concentrating right now. Let the detective do his job. But, detective, the... Aha! I got it! Now it all makes sense. The killer used a block of ice to kill the victim. That would explain why the ground and the body are wet. Well, I'm a genius, right? But, detective, we are a little bit wet as well. Oh no! Is the killer going to kill us too? No! The ground, the body, and we are all wet because it started to rain. Hey, that makes total sense too. Surely, you can be a detective as well, like me. Oh, detective. Well, everyone, how was it? <laughs> I wonder if this detective can really solve crimes. Yes, without his assistant, Shirley, I think he would really be lost. Everyone, today in our drama we've come across some very good vocabulary expressions related to police dramas on TV and in movies. Right. If you listen to this podcast a couple of times, you will be very close to being able to understand other police drama programs. That's right. Have fun studying English, and we'll see you next time at Hiroshima University's English Podcast. Bye! Bye.